All right, what's up, guys? In today's video, take a look at the Stoner 63. This is a gun I think is going to be one of the meta weapons moving into the new season after the FAR, the AUG, and the M16 all get nerfed. This gun does everything and it does everything well. The damage is very high. It has one of the best ranges out of every gun in the game, and the accuracy is extremely easy to control, and that is what makes it a good weapon. So, as far as the best overall class setup, I want to showcase that to you guys first. Number one, the muzzle and the underbarrel. Obviously, the agency suppressor for improved range, bolt velocity, recoil. Field agent for improved recoil. Uh, the barrel is very simple. The task force is basically the only barrel that does anything if you actually go through and look. The only barrel that improves and helps your bullet velocity is the task force. It does make your recoil worse, which it doesn't affect the horizontal or only affects your vertical, which is a bigger positive for it. As far as the optic, the 3X or the 2X is a personal preference. In my opinion, after I tested, I found the 2X to be a little bit better. It has a faster ADS and a better field of view, which allows you to see a little bit better at longer distances. And then as far as the best fifth attachment, you can go for the fast mag, which in my opinion is a godly attachment if you want a faster reload if you're playing quads or trios. But as I said, the rear grips are currently bugged, and that's what's going to make this a god tier weapon similar to the FAR when the 50 round fast mag was bugged. So with the airborne elastic raptor getting an improved sprint to fire, improved ADS, and improved aiming stability, the only negative you get is a worse fire movement speed, which has no effect on the weapon at all. So that's the best class setup. What I want to go through and take a look at is all these attachments and where I figured out which one was best. Obviously, first things first, I want to take a look at the barrels because obviously the barrels is how you're going to start your best class setup. We're going to take a look at the time to kill versus all the other top LMGs, which you guys will see in a minute on why this is such a godly weapon. So on the screen now, you guys will see the data of the barrels. As I said, the task force is very simple across easy to the point and improves your range. The only barrel that improves your bullet velocity and it improves your spray speed in exchange, you get a slightly worse vertical recoil, which is one of the only things wrong with this gun is a vertical recoil. So it affects the gun where it's already not the best. So it really has no effect on the weapon because you honestly won't notice the increase in vertical recoil while getting the best range improvement, best bullet velocity and straight speed. Fairly simple and to the point task force only barrel to use. The next one I want to take a look at is going to be the attachments in the ammo category. A lot of these attachments are either not worth using or really, really good as far as your best fist attachment. So you guys will see once again the chart on the screen. You have your base reload, your base ADS speed. With the fast mag, you get a 25% faster reload to have no effect on your ADS. The second best attachment, you get a slightly slower reload to get 45 extra bullets, which also had no effect on your ADS with the 120 round mag. And you guys can see every other attachment basically affects your ADS by a lot while barely improving your reload. So you look at the 120 round fast mag, your ADS gets chunked the same amount that your reload gets improved. So basically has no effect at all. And then once again with the 150 round fast mag, your ADS is a lot worse than the improvement you get to your reload. Your ADS now is almost sniper level, which is 100% not worth using. And the speed loader has a 10% worse ADS as far as versus the fast mag. In exchange, you get like a 200 millisecond faster reload, which you won't notice in game. That's basically it for the ammo. As I said, either the 120 round mag, if you want the most ammo possible, 45 extra bullets have no effect on your ADS and has no effect on your reload, which you won't notice in game. And like I said, the fast mag, 25% faster reload. And that's basically it just gives you a positive. The next stat to we'll take a look at was the Axial 3X and then the Vision two times. The two times is basically a slightly better than a red dot and the 3X is kind of like the VLK. Uh, in my testing, the 3X did have a slightly better recoil, probably so minimal you won't notice it. The biggest factor you guys will see by watching the video clip on the screen, the visual recoil of the 2X looks a little bit better. So as far as how easy it is to track, hit your shots better with the 2X, it's a little bit easier. Then your field of view, since you're not zoomed in as much, I do play on PC 120 FOV. Uh, the 2X does have a better field of view, so it's able to see more. So like if you're shooting somebody, you can still see your screen. You're not zoomed in completely in a football helmet, just locked in on one guy, which in my opinion was an improvement. And with the 3X, it does have a slightly slower ADS speed, which you might notice. Not that big of a difference, but that's basically it for the 2X. And as I said, the rear grips are all bugged. I'll just showcase the stats on the green for you guys to see. So in my, this was my personal own testing. Uh, it kind of lined up in a similar fashion to Jay God and True Game Data. One factor was the sprint to fire. I want to state up front. The sprint to fire, I found it identical to the tactile sprint out. 
which my, da my data was different. But as I said, all of the grips besides the speed tape, the speed tape has no effect at all. The drop shot wrap improved your ADS by 10%. The jungle grip improved your ADS by one frame and then two frames faster sprint out. With the serpent wrap, you got the fastest ADS speed while still getting the fastest tactile sprint to fire and a slight improvement in your sprint to fire. Then the elastic wrap, as I said, improves your aiming stability, which is a big bonus, faster ADS speed, and then you get the fastest sprint to fire, which is gonna help for the more aggressive players. So your accuracy is improved, your ADS is improved, and your sprint to fire is improved. In exchange, you only get a worse stray speed or the firing movement speed. So as I said, this was in my testing, I've said this multiple times, uh, they were all bugged. And any attachment that's bugged is gonna help make the gun better, which 100% will make this the best class setup possible if these attachments are doing more than they claim because the players that don't know this data and are not using this gun and have not watched this video or tested it are missing out. So that's basically it for the best attachments, best overall class setup. What I wanna take a look at next was obviously the data of the time to kill and why this LMG is much better and is the best gun out of all the LMGs, so. All right, so what you guys can see on the screen now is the time to kill of the top three LMGs, the Bruin, the PKM, and the Stoner. As you guys can see, the Stoner has the best range, about 60 meters almost, which is about 10% more than the PKM, and it has a faster time to kill by about 10% than the PKM, so 10% more range and better bullet velocity by 10%, and a 10% faster time to kill. Add all those numbers together, the Stoner is 100% the best weapon. As I said, when the M16 and AUG gets nerfed, you're looking for your long range metal weapon. The stoner definitely will be that weapon. The colder weapons have getting all their attachments improved as far as the rear grips are finally getting fixed and they're not bugged anymore. And every attachment with the core weapons, they just basically improve the gun for very minimal negatives, which is why the stoner is the best. When you compare the best class setup with the Bruin to the PKM to the stoner, the only negative the stoner has is it has the most vertical recoil out of those two, out of those three weapons, as far as your horizontal is the best, your movement speed, your straight speed, your ADS speed, your hip fire, your sprint of fire, uh, your bolt of velocity, your range, and pretty much every stat about the stoner is better than that of the PCAM. So if you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure you guys leave a like if you learned anything new. And if you guys haven't yet subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. I'm going to be uploading tons of in-depth class setups on a lot of the non-metal weapons that could be metal weapons for you guys. Give you the best class setup in the new season. So if you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe with notifications turned on. Hopefully you guys enjoyed.